Hello and welcome to Rising Stars. Uh, today the focus is on Mindler. It's a technology-driven platform that helps students find a suitable career on their, uh, based on their individual skills, traits and faculties. To tell us more about this, uh, we have the founder and CEO, Pratik Bhargav, who joins us from uh, New Delhi. Pratik, it's an interesting uh, concept that you have uh, over there. For the benefit of our viewers, just uh, take us through what Mindler is all about and how is it exactly that you help uh, uh, those looking for a suitable career path find their way. Sure. Uh, so if you look at the entire career decision uh, making landscape, I think that's a it's a problem which every student faces. It's a challenge which every parent has to deal with. It's literally like a table talk uh, discussion over every dinner. So what what are the some of the gaps that we identified was that career decision making was not being driven by any kind of science. It was a lot of hearsay. It's a lot of parent influence, friends influence, and just hearsay driving decision making. Whereas it should actually be based on proper assessment of the individual skills, the, the traits, the unique aspects of the student and also keeping in mind the, the kind of trends that are going on in the industry, what are the future potentials. So that is where the entire concept of MindLock came in, wherein we are looking at making the entire career decision making accessible to everybody by bringing in technology, leveraging machine learning, artificial intelligence along with psychometric aptitudes and assessments so that every student can actually take well-informed decisions when it comes to uh, their careers. Uh, Pratik, uh, this uh, educational technology has become a very crowded area, but within that, uh, the concept that you're ta talking about really stands out. Uh, so two things here. A, how is how exactly is Mindler different from some of the other platforms that are out there? And B, what exactly is the age group that you're targeting? Uh, I'm guessing most of it would be those in high school and those immediately out of school. But would you also be looking at possibly college graduates or uh, even those in their late 20s, early 30s who are kind of stuck in a job for the last five, six years and are looking to make a change? Sure. So I'll take the second part of the question first. Uh, yes, the entire market landscape starts from students from class 8 onwards. Uh, that's the primary age group and that's where the decision making needs to be right at the first go. Then there are college graduates and also we, we have a lot of uh, students and professionals coming in to seek advice. So that is there but as, as you move on it's also a lot of mentoring that steps in whereas uh, technology driven assessments and platforms are more useful for the, the school as well as the college students. Uh, coming to the first part of the question, uh, how we are different, uh, one of the most important things is that Mindler is based on one of the largest research which has ever been conducted in the history of modern career revenues. Uh, when I talk about it, it's about 5 million data points on which we make any kind of recommendation engine possible. Uh, we are using artificial intelligence, with, blended it with assessments, it's industry experts, it's psychometricians, it's career experts, so there's a lot of things which happen in play and it's about creating this entire ecosystem. Uh, step one is empowering the student with information, helping them make the selection, but then it also needs to be closed through mentoring and ongoing support so that every student actually are, is able to get the right kind of guidance that he needs. The, uh, the challenge, uh, of course, uh, for India is employment generation, but it also is uh, to make our human capital employable. And uh, how are you facing up for that challenge? Because uh, we have a lot of graduates out there who are educated, but maybe not professionally ready to take on the challenges of the workplace. Where does that, uh, breaking that barrier comes in really? In fact, that was one of the key hypotheses behind which the entire concept of MindLock came into being, because you have huge number of engineers today which have pursued their engineering however they are not employment ready. Uh, the reason primarily is because they pursued a career which was not in sync with this talents and their abilities and that is where you have a lot of, pe lot of people trying to shift their domains looking at another form of education migrating from not only a sector or even a career that kind of changes are happening. So what we are trying to do is if you get that decision right at the early stage nobody can guarantee you that you are yeah the the fact that 100% of the decision will be absolutely correct but if you take a career path which is in sync with your strengths your abilities i think the chances of success are much higher because you will enjoy that experience more uh, i think the learning experience will be much better and that directly impacts your employment opportunities later on as well Final question uh, then uh, what are your plans going forward from here what next can we expect from mindla as you scale this up 
some of the important things that we are working on is yes, uh, directly interacting with school institutions, uh, all the key stakeholders. Uh, you rightly mentioned that edtech is a very very crowded space. However, if you look at it, every kind of edtech organization is a potential ally for an organization like us because we try and facilitate their entire decision making process. Now, whether it is e-learning, it's flip learning, it's uh, bot based education, or it might even be just tutoring, right? Uh, when students need to get into these markets, they're trying to take these decisions, parents are trying to get the students into any kind of a program. It is very important that you do a basic assessment and analysis of what the student is actually capable of and what he should actually pursue. Uh, there can be shortcomings which can be worked upon. However, if you get a realistic assessment of where you stand and what kind of things would be better suited to you, I think that's where most of the problems can be nipped in the bud. Uh, that's where the entire concept of discovering your unique potential using a platform like Mindler comes into being. Fair point, uh, Pratip. Uh, also, uh, yeah. yeah, continue, Pratip. So also, I was just mentioning the second part of the scalability aspect. Uh, what we are trying to do is we are trying to go cross borders. We are trying to look at different segments, uh, looking at uh, our, our platform is already available in Hindi as well as the English language, which was the, the prime language. Uh, once we do these kind of conversions, it allows us to reach out to a much larger audience, uh, collaborating with different institutions, in fact, NGOs or education bodies. That's how uh, we plan to scale up in the future. Right, uh, Pratik, we'll leave it at that, uh, but that's a great uh, concept that you have uh, there and we wish you the best of luck as you take Mindler forward. With that, uh, completely out of time on this edition of Rising Stars. Thank you so much for watching.